Weeks. Buford County schools are set to start the fall semester with online classes, but some parents are against online classes only, calling for a face-to-face -face learning option. WJCL's Jackson Kurtz is live in Buford tonight at Rebo Road and Boundary Street, where some parents are protesting the district's reopening plan. Jackson. Well, Sam, these folks have been here protesting since noon today, all with the same message to allow Beaufort County students the option to do face to face learning this fall. Now, parents, with some of them joined by their children, held signs asking the district to give them a choice to return. One sign saying kids won't learn if they don't return. Originally, the Beaufort County School District did off offer an option for in person learning, but as coronavirus cases began to rise in the county, school officials decided to make all classes online. Now, parents at the protest say they wish the district heard more of their input before making this decision and say with no face to face learning, some of their kids freedom would be taken away. Taking this away from the kids is like telling them they can never go back outside again. How are they going to play with their friends? How are they going to learn how to interact and hold decent conversations and just hold themselves accordingly? You know, that's all those things you learn while you're in school dealing with other people, with teachers, other students. Another parent we spoke with says the district did give them a survey on their opinions on reopening and says many parents wanted face to face as an option. One parent told me students have just the same risk of getting the virus at school as they do when they get their groceries. Now we reached out to the district for comment who says they'll do face to face uh, learning as an option when it's safe to do so and they say their decision to open virtually was made in consultation with Dr. Rodriguez senior leadership team principals and teachers in Beaufort County tonight. Jackson Kurtz, WJCL 22 News. And another protest is scheduled for tomorrow at the same location on Rebo Road and Boundary Street starting at 8 a.m.